So in East Asia, you know, particularly South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, Singapore, they have had sustained very low fertility. Uh, you know, 1.1, 1.2 children per woman. Uh, policy strategies deployed over the last 20 plus years have had almost no impact on increasing fertility rates. And they are at the point now, you know, Japan perhaps the most uh, far ahead, but Taiwan and Korea and Singapore are close behind, where, uh, you know, the reality of the inverted population pyramid is, is there and the fiscal effects and the economic effects are, are, are there. So these are countries where the leadership in them are very concerned about these issues around demography, but have so far not found strategies to raise the birth rate that work in their cultural uh, context. And now are starting sort of almost for the first time to consider the possibility of some limited migration under very strict you know, sets of you know, time limits and, and rules to deal with some of the issues that are emerging.